In this video, I'll show how to set up a smart AI automation that automatically categorizes every email in your Outlook inbox, completely hands-free. Once this AI is set up, it will instantly understand whether each email is an invoice, customer inquiry, project update, or any other type of business communication. Then all you have to do is click on a category or apply a simpler filter to view exactly the emails you need in seconds. In the part 2, I'll show how to take it even further with complete automation that organizes email into folders while you sleep. We are going to use Power Automate and AI Builder to create the automation. Let's get started. I am in the Power Automate dashboard. First, we need to create the AI Builder which will classify the emails based on the email subject, email body, and the sender. We are going to use AI Builder to categorize emails using artificial intelligence. If you don't want the AI approach, you can create rules in Outlook instead. But the rules method is not nearly as intelligent as what we are building today. I'll navigate to AI Hub. Here I have several custom prompts I have built for different use cases. Check out the Power Automate AI Builder playlist to watch the videos. Then click on Build Your Own Prompt. In the Instructions section, we need to write clear instructions for what the AI should do. I have the instruction prepared, so I'll paste it here. First, I need to tell the AI what its job is. So I am saying you are an expert email classification system. Your job is to read business emails and put them into exactly one category. Then I define the seven categories, invoices for bills and payments, orders for purchase orders and vendor stuff, legal for contracts and compliance, admin for HR and IT notifications, customer for external client emails, projects for internal teamwork, and other for everything else like newsletters. I have added some rules here how to think. First look at the email subject line, then read the email body. Check who sent it, for example, if it sees an invoice number, it goes to invoices. If it's from a customer, it goes to customer. I added some examples like invoice payment due equals invoices, project status update equals projects, pretty straightforward. And most importantly, I have instructed respond with only one word, just the category name. No explanation, no extra test, just invoices or customer or whatever category it picks. Now I need to replace these placeholders with actual email content inputs. I'll delete this and select add content. Here I'll select text. For the input name, I'll change it to subject so we can easily identify it in our Power Automate flow. I'll replace the placeholder for body. I'll select add content, select the text option and I'll change the name to body. For the sender, I'll delete the placeholder. I'll select add content. I'll select the text input and the name is sender. By default, AI Builder uses GPT 4.1 mini model which is perfect for our use cases. You can select a different model if needed, but GPT 4.1 mini is ideal since we are only processing text content. In the model response, I'll change the output to JSON. This gives us structured output that's easier to handle in our flow. Let's test our prompt. I'll add some text input to test it. I'll select the subject input here and add a subject. For the email body, I'll add some text. I leave the email sender blank for the test. I'll click the test button. Based on the sample email content, it correctly classified the category. Let's try with another sample email content. I'll select subject, replace this subject with a new email subject. And for the email body, I'll add the new email body. I'll click the test button. And here's the email I am testing with. And you can see, based on the email content, it correctly categorized the email as customer because this is a customer inquiry. Our AI Builder is ready to go. I'll give it a name, Microsoft Outlook Email Classifier and I'll save it. Now we can categorize the emails automatically using Power Automate based on the output of this prompt. Before creating our Power Automate flow, we need to set up the categories in Outlook. If we don't create the categories manually, Power Automate will create them automatically. 
but by setting them up ourselves we can add colors and make them look professional instead of just plain gray. I am in the Outlook web application. To quickly add the categories, I will right click on any of the emails. Under categories, I will select manage categories. Here I can see the existing categories. Since I don't use these existing categories, I can either delete them all and add our custom ones or simply edit what's already here. I will quickly edit these categories. For the other, I will create a new category and I will select a color here. I have added all the categories. I have 7 categories but you can create based on the categories you want to keep. Make sure to use the exact same names you used in the AI Builder instructions. If the names don't match perfectly, Power Automate will create new categories instead of using your colored ones. Also you can do this using the Outlook desktop application. Now I will create a new Power Automate flow. Here I will select Automated Cloud Flow since this should trigger whenever there is a new email. I will add a name for the flow, Microsoft Outlook Email Classifier. For the trigger, I will search for email and here I see when a new email arrives v3. I will select this trigger and click this create button. The trigger will read the email from Outlook. We need to pass the email content to the AI builder we created. I will click the plus icon to add an action. Under AI Capabilities, I'll select the Run a Prompt action. If you don't see it here, then in the search, type Run a Prompt and select the Run a Prompt action. For the prompt, I'll select the prompt we built in a few minutes back. This is Microsoft Outlook Email Classifier. The prompt requires three inputs so it can analyze the email and give us the right category. For the subject, I'll select this option, enter the data from previous step from the trigger, when a new email arrives v3, I'll select subject. If you don't see the subject field here, click this see more link and you will find all the outputs from the trigger. I'll select subject. For the body, I'll click this dynamic option and select the body from the trigger. Now for the sender, I'll select this option and select the from value. This action is ready. Now we need to mark emails in Outlook with the output of this run a prompt action. I'll add the next action. I'll search for Outlook category. I'll select this action assign an Outlook category. This action requires a message ID so it can mark the right email. I'll select this option enter the data from previous step. Under the trigger I'll click this see more link and I'll scroll down to see the message ID. Here I see the message ID. I'll select it. Now it needs the category which we will get from the AI Builder. I'll select this option. From the Run a Prompt action, I'll select Category. The flow is ready. I'll save the flow. I'll click this Test button to see if it works correctly. I'll click this Manually option, then this Test button. Now it is waiting for a new email to arrive in Outlook. I'll send an email. Here is our test email. Based on the content, this should be categorized as invoices. Let's see if our prompt can categorize it correctly. I'll send the email. We have received the email. The flow should start working now. The flow is running. It's done. Let's go to Outlook. You can see the email has been automatically categorized as invoices by our Power Automate flow. Since we set the trigger to when a new email arrives, this will work automatically for every new email you receive. Let's try with some other different types of emails. Let's watch it side by side. I'll send multiple emails to try the flow. First I'll send this email, send, then I'll create a new email here. You can see it is categorizing the emails correctly. I'm sending multiple emails to see if the flow can handle all the emails. You can see that the correct categories have been applied to each email. The flow works perfectly. Whenever you need to filter by category, just click the category name and you will see all the emails from that category. You can also filter emails using the search box. Just type the name of the category and select it. If you ever want to pause the automatic categorization, just turn off the Power Automate flow. You can turn it back on whenever you are ready. 
In the next video, I'll show how to organize the emails automatically in the right folder based on the email content. We will use the same AI Builder prompt. We just need to design a different Power Automate flow. Please subscribe to the channel to stay updated. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Leave your feedback in the comments below. Thank you for watching.